it's important to know that Jesus answers our prayer requests because he loves us and he wants the best for us. But we should also know that he answers our prayers to glorify God the Father and to show God's goodness. See, Jesus is the firstborn of the resurrection and he intercedes to God the Father for us on our behalf. And the Father wants to give us good things because he's a loving Father. In John chapter 14, verses 13 and 14, Jesus says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Jesus is saying that when he answers our requests, he's doing so that the Father may be glorified through him. And remember that the only way to the Father is through Christ. In 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 to 15, the Apostle John says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. This part is important to remember because a lot of people know that Jesus will answer our prayers and grant our requests that God may be glorified through him and because he loves us. But oftentimes we can forget that he says if we ask anything according to his will. So it has to be according to his will that we can be sure that we have these things. Everything we ask for may not be in God's will for us to have even if it is a good thing. So it's important that we make sure our desires are aligned with his will. And if they're not, we can ask him to align our desires with his will, or we can petition to him that the things that we desire be his will. Also, we must be content whether something we're asking him for is in his will for our life or not in his will for our life. Either way, we must be content with his decision and know that his decision is righteous and that his decision is final. So if you're seeking God for something, look in the Bible and see if what you're asking for aligns with the principles of God. See if anything that you're asking for might be contrary to his ways. Now, if what you're asking him for is something that is not contrary to what he stands for, and it might be something that the word promises, then you can believe that he will grant it if it is according to his will for your life. So if you're not sure if what you're asking God for is in his will for your life, then ask him. And also you can ask him for that thing to be in his will for your life. But remember, God's decision is the best and it's the final decision. When Jesus was in the garden and he was praying to the father, he asked that this cup would be taken from him. That is having to be crucified. But in his prayer, he also said, let your will be done and not mine. So we can ask God for things, but we have to remember to make whatever is in his will the priority and not what's in our will. Now, if what you're asking for aligns with this will, you can be sure that he will guarantee your request because he said he would. So have confidence in this fact today that God will take care of you. You all be blessed in Jesus name.